On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Community College System of New Hampshire, the Great Bay Advisory Board, and the faculty and staff of the college, I am honored to welcome our graduates and their families and friends to the 74th commencement ceremony of Great Bay Community College. My name is Catherine Addy, and I have had the privilege of serving as the interim president of Great Bay this past year. While I'm sure we all agree that this occasion would be more fulfilling if we were all together in the same place, we at Great Bay are no less determined to recognize and congratulate our 2020 graduates at this time and are still hoping to do it in person at some time in the near future. Part of the wonderful tradition of the commencement ceremony is that two key people are selected to lead the procession as faculty and students march in. The faculty marshal who carries the mace is someone who is selected each year by all faculty and an outstanding graduate is selected after careful consideration by the student life staff who work closely with students. This year, the faculty marshal is Ms. Cynthia Walton, Associate Professor of English and Chair of the English Department. Representing the graduates is Mr. Kenneth Stanley, President of the Student Government Association and Student Representative to the Board of Trustees of the Community College System of New Hampshire. Ms. Ariel Benjur will now sing the national anthem. Ariel was born and raised in Massachusetts and moved to New Hampshire in 2004. Her grandparents and first generation of children are from Haiti and worked very hard to make something of themselves in the United States, instilling education, hard work, and perseverance in her from a young age. Ariel says that her uncle always told her, you are proof that no matter where you come from, as long as you work hard and make good decisions, you can succeed. Ariel is proving that by graduating today with an Associate of Science degree in nursing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet away o'er the land of the free and the home of the I am now honored to introduce Dr. Susan Heward, the President Emeritus of Manchester Community College and currently the Interim Chancellor of the Community College System of New Hampshire. She will bring her greetings to our graduates. Hello, Great Bay Community College graduates. I'm so very pleased and honored to be with you in this very unusual way. I am the Interim Chancellor, Susan Heward. Some of you may remember me because I was briefly at Great Bay and perhaps you started during the time that I was there. In any case, whomever you are and however long it took you, a year, maybe even 10 years, I am so pleased to be with you to celebrate your achievement. I bring you greetings from the Chancellor's Office and the Board of Trustees. These are people you probably don't even know, but they are your own personal cheerleaders. They have been in the background through your entire career at Great Bay, hoping and providing for you the best opportunities so that you could meet your goal of achieving a college degree. So I'm here to say goodbye and best wishes. We're very proud of you. It is amazing to me the courage and the persistence and the resilience that your class has shown to get to this moment. We have great confidence that you will go out and be brilliant. 
that you will continue your academic career or you'll go into the workforce. But in any case, we hope that you'll carry a piece of Great Bay with you and that you will take your responsibility of carrying on what is a 75 year tradition with you into the community, serving your community, your families, your friends. So congratulations, celebrate. Even though we're doing this in a very unusual way, it in no way lessens the achievement of what you have done over this period of time. And so we wish you the very best. Take care. In the course of my career in higher education, I have given countless speeches not only at commencements, but also for many other occasions, some memorable and others very forgettable. The largest audience I ever had was one of my first as a senior in college, speaking at us an orientation in the football stadium to several thousand new freshmen and their parents. The smallest, several years ago, was for a graduate who was in the hospital and could not come to commencement. So I went to her and gave my speech to her and her family in her hospital room. This one, however, has been the most challenging to think about, to write, and to deliver. One would think that after my many years as a college president, it would have been easy. It isn't that I don't have a lot to say. I think it is the uniqueness of our situation today. None of us expected to be celebrating your academic accomplishments in this distant and impersonal fashion, but here we are. The wind changed direction in March, so to speak, so we have had to adjust our sails. Recently, I found a small piece of paper on which I had written something that caught my eye at the time. I have absolutely no memory of who said it or where it came from, so of course, I Googled it and discovered it comes from a novel written in 2009 by Dean Koontz. In any case, here is what he wrote and what he said. Always the eye sees more than the mind can comprehend, and we go through life self-blinded by much that lies before us. We want a simple world, but we live in a magnificently complex one, and rather than open ourselves to it, we perceive the world through filters that make it less daunting. Now I've thought a lot about that passage I just read to you. It confirms the belief that the purpose of education at any level is to reduce the number of filters we need in order to tolerate or hopefully understand the world we have created. Regardless of how tempting it is to simplify things so that our choices in life are easier and less scary, we do not have that luxury, especially right now in 2020 because of the pandemic, when our country is facing very serious challenges to our way of life, to our habits of thinking, and to our vision of the future. It does feel as though we have somehow lost control of the most basic of our previously accepted behaviors and assumptions, that we could go where we want, when we want, interact with whom we want without questioning our rights to do so. Compared to our current world, as we look back, it seems as though things just three short months ago were simpler than they are now, and it is daunting. I have thought about this a lot lately, about how history is shaped by individual events or individual decisions. I recently read the biography of Catherine the Great of Russia. Out of that entire book, there was one anecdote that I just cannot get over. In the 1770s, when King George III of England was facing some rebellious farmers and merchants in the colonies, like New Hampshire, who had the audacity to want their freedom from the crown, he went to Catherine the Great and asked her to send Russian troops, who were known to be ferocious fighters, to America to assist England in putting down the rebellion. She said no. But what if she had said yes? How different would all our lives have been, regardless of our nationality? One decision made by one individual thousands of miles from these shores changed history. Even today, the decisions of four rank and file police officers in Minnesota a state far away from New Hampshire geographically and culturally has rippled through the entire country and the entire world, costing other lives and millions of dollars and changing the history of America as we go forward and try to understand where we are as a society. But who is to say there won't be an occasion when one decision by each of you will change yours or someone else's life? That is why we must never embrace ignorance or simplicity or celebrate it in someone else. It is too important and our world is changing too rapidly ever to be satisfied with not knowing or with not trying to understand or simply not trying to live our lives in the best way we can. We must take what we have and do our best with it. Every choice we have in life leads us to our next set of choices, 
to our decisions about how we live our lives and therefore to the consequences of those choices and decisions. I hope that you have gained some decision-making skills here at Great Bay and will be able to remember that even though you may not be able to control what happens to you, you always control how you respond. My wish for each of you graduates is that you know that each step you take will lead to the next step and that your very existence will change the world in some way. I know that's a hard thing to believe. None of us feel all that significant if we are completely honest with ourselves, but we are. At Berkshire Community College in Pittsfield, Mass., the college where I was first a president, there was a quotation by Robert Louis Stevenson on the building saying, to travel hopefully is better than to arrive. I used to think that was an absurd sentiment, but as I reflect on it from my present circumstance, it is a beginning to make sense as the only option to live life with hope, do the best you can with what talents you are given, and try to enjoy the journey because it may be better than the destination. So graduates of the class of 2020, you have your work cut out for you. Our expectations remain high and the challenges in our society are great. We need all of you to commit to achieving all that you are capable of achieving, to taking personal responsibility for your successes and your shortcomings, and never forgetting to give back to your families and communities. Regardless of where your individual path takes you, I hope that your lives will be better for having spent some time with us. We know that we have valued our time with you. Best wishes to each of you and congratulations on your achievements so far. This time of year, we honor faculty and staff across our colleges with the Chancellor's Awards for Excellence. And this year, I am very pleased to announce that the recipients of these awards are being presented to every faculty and staff member. All rose to the unprecedented challenges before us in ways that cannot be adequately described. And the Chancellor thanks and acknowledges this by saying the following. In whatever ways we remember 2020, one way will be by remembering your remarkable work and collective impact. In the coming months, we will commemorate this award with a plaque to be placed at each college, acknowledging the way all members of our college and system office communities came together, transcended expectations, and performed tremendous work for our colleges, students, communities, and our state. As 2020 will be remembered for its challenges stemming from a global pandemic, so too will it be remembered for the way colleagues across our system put forth outstanding effort to support and sustain our students and our institutions. Every year, the president has the opportunity to recognize an outstanding adjunct faculty member and an outstanding student. This year's outstanding faculty member is Mr. Ben Hampton, who has taught history at Great Bay for over 20 years. He is noted for his reenactments of historical events and to quote his former students, the way he approaches teaching gave me a new appreciation and love for history. Thank you, Ben, for contributing so much to an, the educational lives of Great Bay students for such a long time. The Outstanding Student Award for 2020 is being presented to Ina Horvatsova. Ina is a student worker in CAPS. She serves as a peer tutor, a lab assistant, and has also begun participating in the Project Grad Mentor Program. Ina has been front and center as president of the International Student Association, helping to lead that organization to move student lives forward at our college. Ina has demonstrated her commitment to academic achievement and service and leadership. Our campus is undeniably a better place because of her and her actions. She both fully embraces and epitomizes our ideal for engaged learning and community impact. Congratulations, Ina, and thank you from all who have benefited from knowing and working with you. Lisa McCurley, Vice President of Academic Affairs, will now present the recipients of the 2020 Academic Department Awards. I am pleased to present the following Academic Department Awards. These students are hereby recognized for outstanding achievement in their degree programs. President Addy, I present to you the students of the class of 2020 who have fulfilled the requirements for a degree or a certificate. 
And now by virtue of the authority invested in me as president of Great Bay Community College and under the constitution of the state of New Hampshire, I have the honor to confer the appropriate associate degrees and certificates to those candidates recommended by the faculty as having completed the requirements of their respective curricula with all of the rights, honor, and privilege pertaining thereto. Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, Deanna Friedman, will present the candidates for degrees and certificates. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science and Accounting. Andrea Lane. Fanny Obando. Theodora Pike. Brandon Lawrence Sargent. The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Accounting. Francie Elena Parga. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Science in Biological Science. Courtney Sierra Fowler. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Biotechnology. Emily Vandalia Bulargin. Jennifer Courier. Kendall Kitchen. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Science in Biotechnology and degree of Associates in Arts in Liberal Arts. Rebecca Maria Nagy. The following is a candidate for the Advanced Certificate in Biotechnology. John Lee Cudahy. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Business Administration. Gabriella Elizabeth Black. Elliot M. Cross. Daniel E. Fahey. Lindsay Goodwin. John Michael Grace. Jason Valentino Hutomo. Tiffany King. Alyssa La Virtue. Mariana Salazar Sanchez. Alexander David Sayak. Shelby Dawn Bertina South. Also receiving a certificate in leadership and management, Sarah Elizabeth Stewart. Blake Austin Stoll. Michelle Marie Tangen. Rika Tokuno.
The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Leadership and Management and Certificate in Sales and Digital Marketing, Sarah DeWitt. The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Computer Numeric Control, Patrick Jones. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Computer Technologies. Orusha Dahal. Ryan Andrew Jarvis. Alexander Scott Kurgan. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Computer Technologies and Certificate in Programming. Crystal Marie Snow. Sean Young. The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Software Development. Sterling Wheeler Crapser, Jr. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Criminal Justice and Certificate in Homeland Security. Serena Brown. Aaron Driscoll. Serena McFarlane. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Criminal Justice. Nicholas Funai. Amanda Hailson. Michaela May Herget. Lakeisha M. Varney. The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Homeland Security. Heidi Lynn. Sir Royce Rohr Bakker. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Science in Cybersecurity Infrastructure, Philip Mason Powers. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Digital Media Communications. Emily Burr. Ina Hobovitusova. Jacob LaChapelle. Jessica Schleppi. Stephen F. Weeks. Skyler Lawrence Wooten. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Early Childhood Education. Alexandria C. D'Urbano. Emily Jean Dyer. Bethany J. Gould. Jordan Pierce Greenberg. Sophie 
Lettinen. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts in Teacher Preparation. Rhiannon Dozier. Amy Janine Marston. Brianne Christina Sparks. Jessica J. Starkey. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Science in Bioengineering. Jisun Kim. The following is a candidate for the degree in Associate in Science in Engineering. Joseph William Riggle. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Arts in English. Marcus Stephen Weil. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Science in Environmental Science. Eric B. Gustafson. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts in Fine Arts. Ryan Thomas Cunningham. Aaron McDonough. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts in Liberal Arts Fine Arts. Brianna Michaels. Michael Perez. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Hospitality Management University Transfer. Gabriela M. Cuevas Ovalis. Christy L. Savard. The following is a candidate for the degree of Associate in Science in Information Systems Technology. Alexander Cushing. The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Information Systems Technology. Mark Farrell. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts in Liberal Arts. Sarah B. Boyers. Kayla Burgess. Nathan Levitt Daniels. Hannah R. Downs. Sabrin Janae Eaton. Jade Edwards. Samantha Shearholt Glynn. Daniel Hamilton. Kelsey Marie Mason. Samuel Mellert. Lauren Michaud. Joseph Perlowski.
Kenneth E. Stanley. Angeline Tandiono. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Nursing. Lauren A. Alderman. Alexis Arsenal. Danielle E. Barrows. Ariel Myrna Benjur. Emily Linda Brashear. Elizabeth Ann Karamahalis. Hannah C. Cartagena. Faye Jeanette Elizabeth Cheney. Kelly E. Day. Naomi L. DeRoy. Cassidy Emerton. Elizabeth Marie Jones. Kathleen King. J.C. LeClaire. Alicia N. Mashadu. Shauna Marku. Kayla Rose Willett. Devin Park. Brittany N. Rogers. Wendy A. Scott. Emily Ann Seba. Nicole Elizabeth Spidel. Jenna May Tremblay. Hannah Van Auken. Allison Welch. Tiffany G. Wirt. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts in Psychology. Caitlin Herlihy. Zachary S. Oringer. Andrea Pickett. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Surgical Technology. Kendall Elise Addison. Lucy Maida Korea Cusick. Kimberly Leiter. Samantha Roberta Macon. Alicia 
Lee Manson. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Technical Studies. Jeffrey Byron. Benjamin M. Titus. The following are candidates for the degree of Associate in Science in Veterinary Technology. Caitlin Berry. Christina Douglas. Elizabeth Natalie Erb. Alessandra T. Farina. Jessica Ray Phillips. Brianna Victoria Riley. Laura Elizabeth Tarr. Shelby Jacqueline Walcott. The following is a candidate for the Certificate in Welding Technologies. Rebecca Gerlach. As graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. Honored guests, family and friends, I now present to you the class of 2020. As we conclude the formal part of our commencement ceremony today, we leave you with this blessing adapted from the Talmud. May you live to see your world fulfilled. May your destiny be for things still to come. And may you trust in generations past and those yet to be. May your heart be filled with intuition and your words be filled with insight. May songs of peace ever be upon your tongue and your vision be on a straight path before you. Finally, we are pleased to recognize all of the graduates of the class of 2020 by now listing their names and their programs of study, followed by the many messages of support and congratulations from faculty and staff. Best wishes, graduates.
Hello from admissions. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Your perseverance has gotten you to this point today. And we couldn't be happier for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi graduates, this is Becky Clerkin from the College Library. I've had the pleasure of getting to know many of you over the course of your time at Great Bay as you've come down for library trainings or one-on-one -on -one research or citation appointments. And I have to tell you that I'm really sad that we're not having a traditional graduation ceremony. I love sitting in the audience and cheering you on as you walk across the stage to get your diploma. I know that so many of you have had many challenges during your time with us and that you had to really reach deep and find a well of grit and determination and persistence in order to achieve your goal. And I love being able to applaud that. So I just wanna to say to you, congratulations. I wish you all the best in the future and here's a toast to you. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at Great Bay Community College. The perseverance and resilience that you have demonstrated is truly inspiring. Your future and our future is bright, and I cannot wait to see how that future unfolds. Congrats. Hi, and congratulations to the Great Bay Community College class of 2020. You are a very special class. We've really been through something together in these last few weeks. I wanted to take this chance to thank you for your flexibility and your dedication to your work, and also for your good humor as we've gone through this. Best of luck to all of you as you move forward towards your goals. We'll be here if you need us. Please stay in touch and please stay safe. Hi, my name is Dr. Amy. I'm the department chair for social science and I oversee the psychology program. I wanted to wish you well in your graduation and good luck in your futures. We look forward to getting to see you again. My favorite part of commencement is always the wonderful headwear and the ridiculous robes. And so I just wanted to take a moment to 
make sure that I give you your congratulatory message in my best commencement gear. Thank you so much for such a wonderful time at Great Bay and good luck. Hi everyone, it's Heather Lemire with the nursing faculty. I just wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys worked so hard to get here. I'm so proud of you, all of you, for doing what you're doing during this really difficult time. And you really deserve a huge congratulations. So congratulations to you all and have a great summer. Congrats, folks. Now go do great things. This is just the beginning. Good luck. All right. Well, congratulations, class of 2020 Infotech uh, Department students. I want to congratulate you on a job well done. You worked very hard and I couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. Um, again, we this is one uh, place that we welcome you back anytime. So whenever we can be uh, able to offer you courses. And then Dave is uh, my uh, assistant here who photobombs every time. So Dave wishes you a very, very successful career. Congratulations all. It's great to be here at this point in time, um, even though we're doing it at a distance. But yeah, congratulations. Um, from your first, what, enable command you typed in to maybe a little bit of coding on microcontrollers. Wow, it's been a long run. But congratulations and definitely move forward. Be a lifelong learner and keep those tools on your hard drive. You will use them. I had a guy call me just a month ago and needed packet tracers, so don't lose the tools. Move forward, take care. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Nice milestone, it's one of many in life. Enjoy what you've accomplished, because you have accomplished a lot, but keep in mind, there's a whole lot more ahead of you. Good luck in the future. Come back any time to say hello. In fact, I wish you would all come back and tell me how you're doing. Take care. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah. All right. You guys rock. Hi everyone, Allison Groshmal here from Student Life. I've gotten to know so many of you through the years and I'm so proud of you all. Congratulations to Great Bay's class of 2020. My name is Chris Strong. I'm chair of the Great Bay Community College Advisory Board and joining me this morning are my fellow colleague board members and senior leadership team and we are here to celebrate with you on your fabulous accomplishments and we know this is kind of an unusual graduation for you but we're very proud of you you are in our hearts and our thoughts and we're here to give you a big hurrah so here we go boards best of luck to you we look forward to seeing you all soon Congratulations to our English and Humanities Great Bay graduates. It was a pleasure to be part of your academic journey, and I know that you should be proud of all your accomplishments. I can't wait to hear about all the adventuring that you'll do in your life beyond Great Bay. What you see here is of Frank Lloyd Wright's list of fellowship assets that he outlined for his architecture apprentices he worked with at Taliesin his summer home, studio, and school. 
As you build from one phase of your life and career pursuits to the next, may you continue to develop and refine these assets. Happy graduation. Happy graduation. To the Great Bay Community College Class of 2020, on behalf of IT, facilities, and campus safety, we're proud of you, we'll miss you, congratulations. To the digital communications majors and fine arts majors, congratulations on your graduation. The world needs your creative problem solving skills now more than ever. Go out and make a difference and keep in touch. Again, congratulations. I'm very proud of all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020, Great Bay Community College. Um, this is Kelly McDonough, Professor of Nursing. Special shout out to my nursing students, congrats. And another shout out to my daughter, Erin McDonough, graduated with a fine arts degree. Congrats to all. Hello everyone, the CAPS department has a great message for you. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself. Any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the one who decide where to go. We hope you've enjoyed these excerpts from Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss, published by Random House. Caps off to our graduates.